Hey everyone, welcome to Wetcode, where in this video we're going to learn what a .d.ts file is, or a TypeScript declaration file, and also how TypeScript declaration files relate to at types scoped packages. So a .d.ts file is a type declaration file for TypeScript. The D in .d.ts stands for declaration. These files don't contain any implementation information and aren't compiled to JavaScript like TypeScript files are. Instead, the TypeScript compiler uses these files to point out incorrect usage of code, such as providing the wrong amount of arguments to a function or accessing a property on an object that doesn't exist. To demonstrate the usefulness of .d.ts files, let's work with Express in a TypeScript file. First, let's install Express from npm by running npmi express. So install Express like this. And now let's create a simple Express app. And in this Express app, we've accessed a method with code is cool that definitely does not exist in the Express library. And what we would expect is for TypeScript to detect that the wit code is cool method does not exist on the app object. However, this is not the case as we don't have any types information for Express that the TypeScript compiler can use. Therefore, TypeScript can't detect if wit code is cool method exists or not. To fix this, we can create our own types declaration file. So first, let's create a folder to hold these. And let's call it at types. And then let's place a declaration file inside called express.d.ts. Note that the name of the file does not matter besides the extension of .d.ts. And inside this file, let's let TypeScript know about this wit code is cool method. And how we can do this is by providing a bunch of type information for express. Using declare module express here tells TypeScript that we are defining types for the module express. Specifically, we're saying that Express exports a default function called Express that returns an Express app. So we have, we're exporting a default function called Express with some return syntax saying it returns an Express app, which is an interface that contains the method where code is cool that doesn't return anything. Now, if we go back into our index.ts index file, we can actually see if we should have some autocomplete too, we get dot wit code is cool. And we also had some red underlining here, which I believe came from it can't find a declaration. So if we delete this folder, we can highlight under this, cannot find a declaration file for express. And what we did is we essentially just created our own. So now what's happening is the TypeScript compiler is reading information from this express.d.ts file. So we get useful errors that TypeScript provides. Of course, this is a custom type declaration file and does not actually provide the types express provides. So this method, it TypeScript thinks it's part of the Express library, but it definitely is not. So if we really want to benefit from TypeScript and working with Express, we need to install the npm package at types-express. So it's at types-express, and as it's TypeScript, we want to install it as a development dependency by tagging on dash d. So whenever we install a package from npm with the at type scope, we are installing typing information provided in TypeScript declaration files, or .d.ts files. For example, when we install Express with npmi express, we also want to install the types packaging for Express, or at types-express. And this is so we can get the typings that Express has. And so now, now that we've install installed that, so if we look under package.json, inside our dev dependencies, we have TypeScript and typings for Express, we can now delete this types folder. And if we look back in here now, if we underline this, property wit code is cool does not exist on type express. And so if we want to dig deeper into this, if we look actually inside the at, so if we go into node modules and we can see the at types, if we find at types for express in here, if we look inside this index file, we can see all the typings for ex typings information for express that the TypeScript compiler will be using. All of this essentially just making developing an express application easier with TypeScript. So for example, if we hover over this, we can see what we return is an express object. I think if we click in here, we see core.express, we can look at all the interfaces. We have an interface express that extends application and so on. But so this is my video on TypeScript declaration files. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. But besides that, thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one and have a good one. 